Hello everyone, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astro Numerologist, and welcome to the first lunation, the full moon in Cancer, 2017. This is a beautiful, beautiful full moon that happens on January 12th at 22 degrees in Cancer, where the moon will be, and opposite the moon will be the sun, of course, to, to form that full moon at 22 degrees Capricorn. Now the date of January 12th, 2017, adds up to 14. And 14 is a number of connection, connecting through communication, and being open to change, making a lot of decisions, and being really, really flexible. And in the end, it's all about soliciting joy and freedom, where 14 is about freedom, and the 12th of January is about discovering joy. So we have these two numbers. Numbers 5 and 3 for 14 and 12 activated. They both sit on a rocker. They're both about flexibility. And since Mercury will have just gone direct a few days before this, you are on a trajectory of forward momentum anyway. Now, Cancer is the sign of the home. And we always start the new year with a Cancer full moon. It usually arrives around this time. And this time around, there is a very powerful grand square, which if you look at it from the top, it looks like an actual pyramid. And in this case, the pyramid theme is going to continue into the eclipse cycle in February. So this is a very important sacred geometric shape that is starting off the year in the form of this amazingly powerful pyramid, which in Astrology really signifies a battery of energy. So we've had Mercury moving direct again. We've got this battery of energy coming in. And so this invigorating forward momentum is propelling you into the message of this full moon, which in this case, being in Cancer and activating a stellium in Pisces, which I'll go into in a minute. In this case, the message is to step out into who you are as a spiritual being. Now, let me just explain that January is an 11 universal month. So all month long, we are being asked to stay present. We just want to be present, 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 and take no thought for tomorrow, and allow that 11 gateway to fill your heart with light. So when this pyramid shows up, and I'll give you the planets that form the pyramid in a moment, but when that shows up, it's basically asking you to form a point of light in your life. And this call to action is being activated by this grand square, which I'm calling the pyramid. And the grand square is formed by Jupiter, Moon, Uranus, and a Sun-Pluto conjunction. That means the Sun and Pluto are together in the heavens at the moment of the full moon. Now this brings a lot of expansion, breakthroughs, it opens your heart, it opens you up to change and transform. Remember the code is very flexible as well. And it allows you to feel very courageous and confident and optimistic. So you need to really, really pay attention to being in complete integrity right now. Like I said, to stay present because we're in that 11 gateway. And to also know because it's in Cancer, the, the nurturing that you want to do in order to feel this optimism is really at home. It's with your partner, it's with your close friends, it's with your family. It's nurturing spirituality wherever you feel, you know, at home. So because cancer is ruled by the moon, the moon is about your feelings. And when you're at home with who you are and you can share that, communicate that with your loved ones, with your close friends, with the people who matter most to you, then you are being a spiritual being of light. And that's the call to action for the whole year. The whole year is about light and leadership and love. That's what the code is about. The whole year is about light and love, that's the number 10 for 2017, and leadership, which is the number 17. So then <laughs> we also have a beautiful stellium of four planets in the sign of Pisces. Now. These four planets are Venus, Neptune, Mars, and Chiron. They're all in Pisces during this full moon. And this brings tremendous spiritual awareness. So you're really going to be feeling that sensuous, mystical connection, that galactic connection, 
um, and, and want to share it and want to open yourself up and share the new discoveries that you're making with your friends. So make them mystical, make meditation part of your daily life. That's a real call to action. So the daily aspect of who you are needs to be nourished, which is cancer, every day. So the stellium of these four planets forms a beautiful, harmonious sextile to that Sun-Pluto conjunction. So this involves six planets altogether. Well, the Sun isn't a planet, it's a star, so six light bodies. And so this is, again, a powerful call to action to step up and empower yourself through your spirituality. And that means intuition, listening. You know, that 11 gateway is all about listening, okay? So when you get inspired yourself and feel enthusiastic yourself, you will automatically inspire others around you. It is just natural. Your aura will be joy and others will feel your magnetism, your enthusiasm, and you will start attracting from the universe those positive things that you've yearned for for so long. So this is your moment to do that. And then there's one more aspect. There's a trine between Uranus and Saturn. And that actually affects most of 2017. The other aspects for the year are Uranus opposite Jupiter and Jupiter sextile Saturn. So there are three transits that really inform most of the year. And the one between Uranus and Saturn is active, very active during this full moon. And that brings, again, a lot of positive changes because Uranus is about excitement and breakthroughs and Saturn is about implementation. So what this also does is it emphasizes the commonality that you have with everyone so that you can't separate yourself anymore from what's going on around you, right? So it's not about me versus this or the outside did this to me. It's about we and us are in this together and everything that happens to me informs everything else, right? So when I work on myself, it affects everyone around me. So it's really like reversing the paradigm of, oh my God, something's going on outside the world and this is how it's affecting me. It's the opposite of that. Oh my gosh, look at how I feel and look at how wonderful the result is when I share my enthusiasm with the world. So that is a beautiful theme that resonates throughout 2017 and is activated with this lunation. So let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, so really, I mean, honestly, the cancer, cancer is about coming home. Cancer rules the fourth house in astrology. So you'll have more, a greater sense of, uh, you know, who is my family? Who's my soul family? What are the issues that need to be resolved so that I feel at home in myself and then ex can extend that joy with my soul family, whoever those people are or the groups those are. And also today, uh, Mercury enters Capricorn. And this is important because Saturn rules Capricorn and Saturn forms uh, an important part of this lunation. So Capricorn is about your mission. And so your mission is your career. Your mission is what you focus your attention on. So with, the Merc with Mercury having been in Sagittarius for a few days and now entering Capricorn again and moving forward again, your career will take off. You'll feel the whatever slowness you may have felt in the last few weeks will start moving faster again and whatever projects you're moving on will take off. But you really need to be in integrity. Remember, we're in that 11 month. There's so much going on about turning within for answers and then spreading the light. So always keep that in mind because the more you open your heart up to the glorious being that you are, the being of light that you are, the faster you will expand, evolve, and elevate your life, and really tune in to the joy that's out there for you every day, every moment of the day. So I hope you have a wonderful full moon in Cancer, and I can't wait to share what the new moon later this month brings and then the eclipses in February. So I'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching.